Sounds right. Thank you, Eric. Well, April showers bring May flowers. That's how the saying goes. Now, that is usually a little different here in South Dakota, but we do expect our flowers to bloom at some point. And guess what? This week is National Wildflower Week. And joining us this morning is Rhea Titman with How to Grow to explain the importance of wildflowers. Now, I kind of want to emphasize you're with How to Grow, which is a business here in town. Yes. Awesome. So this week is National Wildflower Week. And I guess, do you have any tips for people, you know, when they're picking out some flowers to add to their garden or wherever? Absolutely. Um, while I always suggest um, planting native wildflowers versus non, so they're not getting invasive, um, echinacea is a good one, the purple cone flower, um, uh, black eyed Susans, things like that, things that you would see around here. Um, they help provide a lot of habitat and feed for your pollinators. Of course, yeah, and I know that, you know, these wildflowers are definitely important for the insects even within our ecosystem to yes. keep on, you know, adding to our fruits maybe you have in your or vegetables in your garden yes absolutely just encouraging those pollinators in your garden as much as you possibly can is just going to benefit all the way around of course and do people plant wildflowers in their gardens as well yes absolutely oh, really? yes yes purple cone flower that i mentioned earlier that's a very popular one uh bluebells and such like that of course yeah. and you know what you can almost if you don't know what wildflowers there are if you take a hike maybe in one of our state parks or national parks you can see quite a few growing there yes. like our state flower yes. the pasque flower and I, I see that most of our flowers start to bloom in june you know the pasque is almost the march to may period right but you know when we get our snow and our gardens we usually wait a little longer around here. What do you kind of suggest for people wanting to plant these wildflowers? Um, you know, a lot of them vary, but definitely waiting until after Mother's Day is always a good, <laughs> um, good idea, especially in South Dakota. Um, if you can, if you can uh, wait until June 1st, that's usually a good plan. Of course. Awesome. Absolutely. Now you guys also have a fundraiser coming up. Yes. Um, what is How to Grow doing this weekend? We are putting on a fundraiser um, with all of our raffle donations going directly towards Meals on Wheels. Meals on Wheels um, obviously provides close to 2,000 wow. meals for seniors across the area. And we want to help facilitate that in any way we can, of course. And also they are working hard to provide fresh uh, produce to their okay. consumers as well. So we want to help facilitate that in any way we can. Of course, and uh, you know, of course, any of the plants there, I'm sure How to Grow will help them with that as well. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Yes. Well, thanks for joining us this morning, Rhea. Great learning about the wildflowers in our area. We'll be right back after the break.